Interesting stories. Interesting people. Welcome to the Humble Badger Podcast. Thank you for listening to this podcast today. You can follow us at The Humble Badger on Twitter and Facebook or at The Humble Badger Podcast on Instagram. And this episode is brought to you with the help of our promotional partners at The Mobs Press, where artists get promoted. Find out more at themobspress.com. My name is Pablo Dawson. I am an event host and a dramedian, and I am your host for this episode. And we always start off with some random fact or a question from our listeners. Uh, today we have a random fact. There was a man, Rigar Ricardo Gonzalo Pedro Montalban y Marino, and he was one of my favorite actors, uh, even though not a lot of people knew about him. But I didn't know him from uh, some of his more, you know, well-done roles like Planet of the Apes or Star Trek or like The Wrath of Khan. I actually knew him <laughs> from the Chrysler commercial in which he extolled the virtues of rich Corinthian leather used for the Chrysler Cordoba. And I also remember him from Naked Gun. I'd like to know if my co-host has any memory of all of Ricardo Montalban. Oh, Ricky. Um, no, no, not. <laughs> Yo, Ricky was from something else, I guess. Right? I loved Ricky from like, you know, Lucy. Uh, I loved Lucy. That that <laughs> reference though, thank you. I love learning from you. My name is Melissa Manish International. So glad to be here on the podcast. Thank you, thank you. I am your salsa coach, your confidence coach, as well as the founder of the hybrid salsa coaching program. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, Ricardo, I mean, anyone with the name Ricardo, I'm already a fan. I love it. Well, then you're going to love our guest because uh, here he is. Hey, my name is Ricardo. How are you guys doing? You guys doing okay? Good. You're we're good. good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm a, I'm a comedian. You know, I, I perform everywhere. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff. Uh, I have a radio show, like you know, Pablo said. Uh, it's all about sports. You know, check that out on Frequency 5 FM. And uh, yeah, I'm just a born and raised Mrs. Ogden. <laughs> I hadn't actually told anyone about the uh, radio show yet, but you can check that out. And Ricardo, do you have any memories or did you know about Ricardo Montalban? Only from I Love Lucy, to be honest. Uh, he was on I Love Lucy? Wasn't he? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I can get... <laughs> so you confused other... him with the I Love I Lucy know. thing. <laughs> I, I just know about the Ricky Ricardo from I Love Lucy. That's true. Yeah. And then the laugh. <laughs> Well, R Ricardo, you are a comedian, and the funny thing is you can actually follow him at Ricardo Comedian. It's a great social media handle, so kudos to you for getting that. Oh, thank you so much, Pablo. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I really hard, worked hard. I <laughs> tried my best, you know, uh, and I just got it, thankfully. Uh, and now I'm uh, at Ricardo Comedian on Instagram and on Twitter. Yeah. Although on Twitter, I'm not I'm very active, but you can do that. But uh, what um, uh, places have you performed at as a comedian? I'm in uh, Thunder Bay, Montreal, mm -hmm. uh, Buffalo, New York. Uh, Buffalo, as just opposed to, to just Buffalo, in, Indiana. Just, just in, yeah, just in case anyone, your, your, your listeners get confused. Uh, <laughs> and uh, London, Ontario. I've been like all over south, southern, southern Ontario. Right. And, and, uh, yeah, so I, I've just been traveling. Now I'm trying to try to go more west. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to go to more like uh, Vancouver, Calgary, Alberta, and all right. those other how long have you been performing? I've been doing it for seven years uh, here in uh, here and around Mississauga, but uh, but more, mainly I've been doing it in Toronto. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Well, I mean, even with like Ricardo comedian, no. do you do any of your comic comedic acts in Spanish or is it just English right now? I actually did one show in Spanish. Oh, how was that? It was uh, actually brutal for me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, before we continue, do you so, actually speak any Spanish? I do speak Spanish. Okay, because yeah. I once tried to do a Spanish yeah. show. The problem was I didn't know Spanish. No, no, no. Despite oh, my name yeah, being no. Pablo. No, no. I, 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 Just saying. The thing is, I got into my own head uh, for this Spanish show. <laughs> and uh, you know what's worse is like when a comedian is panics before you. So uh, that's what happened for this show. Some guy was panicking before the I go on stage. And uh, and it didn't work out well. Oh, and uh, yeah, and also in Spanish, uh, it's like American English versus British English. There's mm -hmm. just some words that don't translate. Right, right. Exactly. And and uh, and some of the words that I think I just got into my whole thing, and like they won't understand what I was going to say. Right. Mm -hmm. And when I was on stage. They didn't understand what I was saying. So, oh, my exactly God. What, so, so, what so a learning happened. experience. Oh, yeah. I was I was sweating buckets. And on that note of the learning experience, so how did you find it? 
how different was it to write the jokes and the write the comedy in Spanish uh, versus English? I, I think I just try to uh, translate what I re- normally had, and then he just used Google, Google Translate, Google Google translate <laughs> and uh, it didn't work out well. Yeah, uh, no, but I did try to, <laughs> I try to, try to. No, I did try. To, <laughs> I did try to. Uh, I, try, I did try to translate my normal jokes into <laughs> Spanish, and uh, he's gonna do a Mandarin show next yeah, week. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, even okay, regardless of what uh, what language we speak, humor yeah. is so nice because it transcends everything. And Absolutely, we love comedy. We love humor, oh, obviously, great. on the Humble mm-hmm. Badger podcast. Yeah. Yeah. How do you engage with your audience, though? Like, what are some things that you do personally? Uh, you know, I just uh, after a show, I usually just stick around, uh, see what their thoughts were on the show. <laughs> and he asked I, for immediate yeah, reviews. Yeah, I, yeah, I, actually, I, I want your feedback I'd right now. Yeah, exactly. I don't want it on Yelp or anything. <laughs> I want it right now. <laughs> I want the satisfaction of your yeah. positive feedback yeah. or negative feedback. Yeah, but it's mainly positive. Nice. Yeah. 90, 90%. Yeah. But I think this is one of the things, again, as a former stand up comedian myself, yeah. um, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize, and Ricardo, you can back me up on oh, this. Yeah. When you're on stage, you get instant feedback whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if your joke's <laughs> yeah. not funny, oh, yeah. you're just going to hear that dead silence. And you know what? Sometimes you laugh to yourself when you're practicing the joke, and yeah. then you get on stage and you do it the exact same way, and all you hear are crickets. You know? <laughs> yeah, but there are times where like, you you do that joke and it doesn't work, but then you do it in another place yeah. and it does work. You're like, yeah, that's well, true. That's true. That does here, happen. You know? It always depends night to night, audience to yeah. audience. And this is another thing about Absolutely. about uh, comedy that uh, I think that you know you have. To, would you say that it is important to be able to read your audience and adapt your act to every show? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I, well, maybe some stuff. Yeah, you can. But like, mm-hmm. I think you should just do what you do normally because because right. you know that works. And if people are paying for that show, yeah. you want to do your best stuff. You don't want to be doing some new stuff right away. You know? Yeah, that's Cause, true. Because they paid to see some entertainment. You're not going to give them some half-assed mm-hmm. sorry, yeah. uh, uh, entertainment. Right? Yeah, you don't yeah, give yeah. Some no, that's lazy cool. jokes. You know? mm-hmm. I mean, even with, with music, for example, you can actually make a song and yeah. play that song over and over again mm-hmm. and your audience can love it over mm-hmm. and over again. Yeah. Yeah. With some comedic skits, though, it's like, you got to keep that stuff fresh. Yeah. You know, that content's yeah. got to be fresh because sometimes that same routine can get stale very quickly. Yeah. So how do you, like, how do you juggle that with the realities of being a comedian? Um, what are some of your strategies for being successful? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I as, as your podcast is named after being humble, the humble bachelor. Uh, <laughs> we have to be humble. Yeah, you yeah, don't. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, brag all yeah, you want. No, no. Uh, I, I, you should try to be as humble as possible. Uh, in, in this industry, uh, comedy is more, it's more only missing about networking. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so you want to be as humble as possible. You want to be a, a, as authentic as possible. You don't want to be a, a fake. Otherwise, people are not going to like you that much, mm-hmm. to be honest. Uh, but with my material, I, uh, you know, I try to try to do a new five minutes every year. Yeah. Uh, I know it's not a lot. People try to do a whole hour every year, but yeah. I, I do a, a new five minutes because I still feel like I'm new, and uh, and I just want to get everything crisp. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to. I don't. Yeah, I don't want everything to be like, like I said, half ass. But I want yeah. everything to be like. Okay, this guy's funny. You know, I, I can see this. Yeah, guy and it shows. Support. It yeah. shows when you see your act. It does look like something that is polished. And this mm-hmm. was one of my problems as as a comedian is that I wanted, like you said, mm-hmm. to forget every year. I wanted to do a new hour like every week. Yeah, exactly. you know what I mean. Yeah. And it was just too ambitious, and I just couldn't uh, make it work. Mm-hmm. But let's shift gears a little bit. Um, you also have that uh, sports show that we alluded to earlier. Tell us yeah. a little bit about. Yeah, that. Deportiva. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she says it much nicer yeah, than I know. I would. Yes, uh, it's not. Fr- uh, Frequency Deportiva actually on the Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like every every Monday at 9.45 we uh, do a sports show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just talk about the, what's happening in sports. Like we uh, like the last podcast we talked about the Kobe passing mm-hmm. and we talked about the NFL playoffs. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's not, it's not, it's a show. It's not really a show for hardcore sports fans. Right. So okay. it's Keep like, it light and fresh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a show for like non-sports fans to mm-hmm. enjoy. And you have various um, personalities come on and co-host and whatever, right? Yeah, it's uh, well, mainly it's been uh, com- comedians right now because because right. uh, I know they're gonna choke around a little bit more. Right. Uh, but eventually, I would like to have more people like professionally, like uh, athletes on the show. But like, uh, what about a uh, host or co-host for the Humble Badger yeah, podcast? Yeah, I love to have that. Melissa on. I love to have her. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, specifically. Yeah, yeah, specifically. Yeah, 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 you know, not yeah, naming yeah, any names. Yeah, yeah, not naming yeah, any sorry, names. Sorry, sorry. Just <laughs> generically. Uh, yeah. 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 Someone named. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's good. You have such a great sense of humor as a, you know, not even in just your profession. It's obvious by your massive smile. So yes, is there yes. anything else that keeps you happy? You got your sports. What else is your favorite thing? Mm -hmm. uh, good question. Mm -hmm. That is a good question. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I like to... Uh, I like. I was a graphic designer before I did stand up, so I love. Uh, I love art a lot too. Uh, sorry, and uh, and I love art a lot, and I love like seeing uh, new stuff, like mm -hmm. the new wave of, of stuff. But I also want to get into like screen printing for some odd reason. So oh, yeah, yeah, That's, uh, uh, yeah, because like unique. It, I know, <laughs> uh, so I can make my own merch and like make, uh, create my own like nice. uh, brand. You know, that's uh, this one. You got into really... a fight with his printer. Is what yeah, he's exa to say. yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you raised the price on me, guy. Okay. Uh, no, so yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm actively searching on on uh, on uh, I like eBay and, and uh, Amazon for mm -hmm. like uh, screen printing materials so I yeah. can do my own t-shirts and stuff. Like you guys have a nice t-shirt. Uh, yes, I, we do. Yeah, so I, I got I like to. Get into that field. So. Well, now that we're humbly bragging, yes, uh, we are humble bragging <laughs> yeah. now at the Humble Badger Podcast. Yeah. No, but he, nice he gave things, us so. the shout out, so it's okay. You're so yeah. nice. Yeah, that's right. So I think it's time for rapid fire. What do you think? Pew pew pew. That's a yes. That's a yes. The pews being <laughs> yes. Apparently, yeah. take a deep breath, Ricardo. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he choked on something. Um, yeah. <laughs> he's fine. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay, let's get go. it started. Absolutely. TV shows or movies. Uh, TV shows. Ooh, why? Uh, they, they can last longer than a movie. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's all about I guess for, yeah. I mean, think for of me, Game it of depends. Thrones, right? Yeah. Game of Thrones. What about you, Pablo? I mean, for me, it depends. It just depends on what the subject matter is. And mm -hmm. I think it's the mood of the time. I mean, for my wife uh, and I, when we Amazon Prime in bedtime, it just depends on, oh, you know, how cool. long before bedtime there is. You nice. Know, the... Hard to stay humble in bed. Yep. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Badger After Dark. Yeah, yeah. Later. There you go. <laughs> Rapid fire. Ricardo, Mac or PC? Uh... PC. Hesitation. Yeah. Uh, I use both. That's why. Uh, okay. well, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Not a lot of people can use both. Yeah. Uh, but I think PC can do a lot more. You can upgrade your stuff a lot more. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll say PC. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't even know if you like this stuff, but like couch or recliner. <laughs> Oh, of course you'll take the recliner. Oh, you got to take the recliner. Yeah, yeah. Who chooses a couch yeah, yeah. over a recliner? Yeah. No, recline not. It's like that Seinfeld episode where uh, they gets the security guard a chair. And, you know, it's like, of course, I'd rather be sitting, you yeah. know. Of course, now we have to pay Seinfeld like a million dollars. Second time again, we got a Seinfeld, man. Uh, Ricardo, do you prefer, and I don't mean to work it, I mean to be attending a mm. big party or a small gathering? A uh, small gathering. Yeah, a lot of our artists seem they to say that. Yeah, that's yeah. a common one, actually. Wait. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just like For our listeners, the bell. we love you. Yeah. So, um, no, I think I think it's common because I think a lot of artists, uh, they, you know, it's one thing they perform. It's, it's part of what they do. But at the same time, in their private time, mm -hmm. you know, we like to talk to less people. Would you say that's... Yeah, it's true. Yeah, a little recharge. Yeah, because mm -hmm. then people, you know, they feel pressure to perform afterward. Yeah, yeah. If there's a big party. Mm -hmm. a small party, like, you just get to know people more, so... Yeah. You get to know the backstory and stuff like this podcast, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Well, that brings us to the end of our rapid fire segment. And now it's time for the quote unquote trivia. We call it that because frankly, it's not about what you know or don't know, but it's rather an opportunity for all of us to learn together. Ricardo, are you ready? I'm ready, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee trivia. Yeah, yeah. Yippee trivia. Yeah. Wow, that was interesting. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she gave herself a thing. <laughs> uh, I have to okay. do that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I think myself, you know? There has it's been a, a lot of lonely winter, guys. There, there hasn't been a, a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Again, stay tuned for Badger After Dark. Yeah. Um, your topic, since you have uh, <laughs> apparently played in poker tournaments yeah. in the city of Las Vegas. Oh, my God. I love it so much. That's right. Sorry. So since you love it so much, that is going to be your trivia topic. All right, oh. And let's get started. So Las Vegas is Spanish for? Vegas? The, the Vegas? Well, the <laughs> and what does Vegas mean? I don't know, actually. Well, this is why we learned together. It's apparently Spanish for the meadows. Oh. Yeah, so I, I did not know that, yeah. certainly. Also officially the city of Las Vegas, city yeah. of angels. That's there right. <laughs> Los Angeles. It uh, bills itself, of course, as the uh, entertainment uh, capital of the world. Can you tell me, uh, say, within a few hundred thousand, what is the approximate uh, population of the Las Vegas um, 
metro area? I'd say it'd be about like a million uh, six hundred five. The metro. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the metro area, we're, we're we're looking at more like around two and a half million. But Whoa. you get the idea. Give them half a ding. Oh, that was supposed Wait. to be a half ding. But okay. there you go. <laughs> I was gonna say two million, but I didn't want to wrap you around a number. Yeah. Well, I'll give you again. Going back to their population, can you tell me what was the population recorded by the uh, Census Bureau of Las Vegas a wow. hundred years ago in 1920, approximately? I'd say about a uh, hundred uh, thousand, Pablo. Um, it's 2,300. This city wow. grew rapidly. I it did. didn't reach 100,000 until actually 1970, you know, by the time the mob got around to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Well, um, that is all the time that we have oh. um, for trivia as well as for this episode of the Humble Badger podcast. I want to very much thank our guest, the t- funny, the talented um, comedian as well as host of the sports show, Ricardo Mejias. Oh, thank you, Pablo. And thank you, Melissa. And on that note, I would also like to thank Melissa. She is fabulous and talented and uh, very positive and energetic. And you can find out more at Melissa Monish International. Thank you very much for coming on our show. Absolutely. It's an absolute pleasure. I love getting, uh, getting inside the studio, guys. And this creative time is a blessing. So thank you. Thank you. And we would also like to thank our promotional partners at The Mobs Press, where artists get promoted. You can find out more at themobspress.com. And believe me, you should check it out. If you are an artist, they really know their stuff. Check it out at themobspress.com. For any inquiries from anyone about our program, please visit thehumblebadger.com for contact information or send us a message through social media. I do want to thank our crew and thank you for tuning in. Signing off from the set here at Tracks Ahead Studio, my name is Pablo Dawson. Wherever you are and whatever you do, remember to follow your passion. Thank you for tuning in to the Humble Badger podcast. For more information, please visit thehumblebadger.com. The Humble Badger podcast is produced by the Pablo Dawson Company. Context matters. See you next time.